Hello everyone, my name is Silver, and this is my first Toriba Crane Game unboxing video, which you can see the post office kindly assisted in me opening. Do not be alarmed, as all prizes in this box arrive safely and without issue. I am unboxing 10 prizes today, which will be listed on the screen, as this was the first shipment I've made after Toriba increased their prize holding time from 14 to 30 days, and as such this is about a month's worth of prizes. Once I pull everything out of the box and remove all the packaging, I will be giving a short review of each prize, which I will include timestamps in case you want to skip ahead to a particular prize. Without further ado, I will unpackage and fluff up these large plushies, all while under the watchful eye of one very curious chicken. Our first prize to review is the chocolate mint cookie sandwich cushion, which took 10 plays and cost 22,500 TP. It is a very soft and fluffy cushion, with one side having a little mint icing pattern while the other is plain. The center section has a bit of an odd inner tube like quality, but is still quite soft. All three sections are stitched together and cannot be separated. It is a very cute cushion nonetheless. Next is the super big Ebi Tempura plushie with Oroshi. This took 7 plays and cost 10,000 TP. As you can see, it has a rosette texture to the fabric on the shrimp, making it very soft to the touch. The oroshi on the top has a more fuzzy fabric and quite squishy and soft as well. The little leaf it's sitting on is more of a felt. Due to its size and fluffiness, it's a rather nice plushie to hug, and it's very cute on top of that. Now we have the Marshmallow Ghost Big Plushie, which took 8 plays and cost 15,000 TP. The top marshmallow part and the bottom chocolate bit are two completely different fabrics, the marshmallow being quite soft and squishy while the chocolate having more of a canvas type texture. For whatever reason, the top half and the bottom half are not sewn together, other than a few spots here and there. If you wanted to separate the two, you could easily do so by cutting a few strings. Still, a very good plushie overall, and I like its cute little ghost face and tiny arms. The next plushie is the Shedding Guana Soft Big Plushie, which took 9 plays and cost 17,500 TP. The best that I can describe this plushie is that it's weirdly dense. It's not one that's super stuff fulfilling, but something about the way it's made makes it heavier than one might think. Perhaps it's the soft, stretchy fabric they used. The head portion and the shedding skin portion are sewn together with the inside of the pocket lined with a mesh fabric. A little disappointed that it's not one you can pull apart and stuff back in, but the plushie overall is still weirdly cute and soft. Next we have the Posing Turnip Big Plushie, Unhappy, which took 10 plays and cost 20,000 TP. This isn't the first plushie from the Posing Vegetable series I have won, and much like the others, this plushie is incredibly soft and squishy. 
In front it has little arms and legs, which I believe is supposed to look like the turnip is curling up into a ball. However, it could either be sitting or kneeling also. Either way, it's a fine addition to the oddity of the Posing Vegetable series. Here is the Sea Animals Die Cut Microfiber Towel, which took 13 plays and cost 22,000 TP. This is a very thin, lightweight towel, with one side printed with the eel design and the other side is white. It seems a little on the cheap side, and quite honestly I'm not entirely sure how well it would even function as a towel. Aside from that, the colors seem vibrant and it does seem to have a microfiber quality to it, but it's an okay prize at most for me, personally. And now we have the Fans Broccoli Extra Large Premium Plushie, which took 28 plays with an assist and cost 52,000 TP. I have always liked the plushies from Fans, so I suppose that you can say that I'm a fan. As for the broccoli, the floret portion is a soft, fluffy texture, while the stem portion is made from a felt-like fabric. It is a fairly well-stuffed plushie, though a bit top-heavy so it can't stand up too well, but I still find it to be a fun, oversized broccoli plushie. Next is the Delicious Aquarium Blowfish Meat Bun Big Plushie, which took 10 plays and cost 20,000 TP. This is a very soft and airy plushie. The fabric is soft and stretchy, and they didn't fill it with a lot of stuffing, so it squishes very easily. It was a little difficult to get it properly fluffed up for the video, as any adjusting I did to it made it sort of deflate and misshapen. It's a fun plushie overall, but it could have used just a bit more stuffing. Here is the Mr. Octopus Mascot Ball Chain Prize A. This took 23 plays and cost me 39,600 TP. Not much to say about this other than it's very small, squishy, and cute, with a silky fabric texture and a little chain for you to hang it from something. I don't normally go for plushies this small, but after seeing that cute little face I couldn't resist. Lastly, we have the Daikon Radish Big Plush Toy, which took 23 plays and cost me 40,000 TP. While well, appearance-wise, it's similar to the Posing Vegetable series, this plushie isn't quite as soft and squishy, and the top portion is made from a more felt-like fabric as well. Either way, it has a rather fun pose and the bonus of having little eyes to stare at you while you admire its ability to pose like one of your French girls. That's all for today, and I hope that you enjoyed this video! I have never done anything like this before, so in turn, this video is a bit of an experiment. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you like this video and whether you would want to see more like this in the future as I receive more shipments of prizes. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a very lovely day.